Hi, I'm Mallory Varner with GSG, and I have a vinyl decorating tip. As most of you know that follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I'm a mom of six, so yes, I keep very busy. All of them are involved in a variety of sports. You name it, they probably do it or have done it. From dance to wrestling, baseball, hockey. So I get asked often which heat transfer I recommend for the various jerseys. Whether it's a football jersey or a singlet, one of my go-tos is our DigiCat Turbo. The Turbo is wonderful because you can press it at such a low temperature and time that you don't mess with the integrity of the garment. At 265 for only five seconds, it's really nice to help with the dye migration as well as, like I said, the integrity of the garment. We always do recommend testing your garment prior to doing a whole run, like a whole football team. After you've cut your design on whatever cutter that you have, whether it be a Cricut, Roll-On, Graftec, I personally use the GS24 with a 45 degree blade. You wanna make sure that you cut your image and mirror design. Then you want to weed your image. I like to weed from left to right. Usually it's easier when getting those E's and the M's just kind of at a 90 degree angle. Weed your image. After you've weeded your design, place it in the location that you want on the garment of your choice. After you've pressed the garment at 265 for five seconds, which is what I needed for this garment after I tested it, then you peel and warm peel from left to right at a 90 degree angle. All right, now I have a jersey with no dye migration. It didn't mess with the integrity of the garment, and my son is ready to play football. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest to see more of my vinyl decorating tips and projects. I would love to see what you're working on, so make sure and tag me. See you next time.